Okay, so this town has a history of people just disappearing. And there's fog. Sounds like the best. What's up, Rad Fam? Today we are jumping into a wonderfully creepy visual novel demo. I said that weird. A visual novel demo. And it is so freaking good and it's so captivating and so creepy and eerie and has such a great plot. I can't wait to play more of it. So let's just jump right into grotesque beauty. Ah, oh, it's beautiful. Man, I'm all about the atmosphere, yo. Like this is... Okay. My phone's going off. Rachel. Hello. I'm actually not gonna say the names, guys, because like I feel like that takes you out of the conversation. Hello? Rachel, are you still coming over tonight? Yeah, I'm on my way. I should be there soon. <sighs> That's a relief. I was afraid you might bail. Me. That's why I stopped getting invited to things. No way! I'm not gonna leave you hanging all by yourself. Oh, well, yeah, if, you're, if it's like a one-on-one -on -one thing, then don't bail. Sit tight. I'm not far from yours. Thanks. I really appreciate you doing this. Guys, I feel like I did not distinguish between those two people's voices and I'm sorry. Thanks, I really appreciate you doing this. See you soon. I have a feeling we don't see her soon. What do you guys think? Anita Reynolds, you are always such a scaredy cat. What? Why? Why am I afraid? Oh no. Anita's apartment is a 20 minute walk from my place. Most nights she's home alone as both her parents work late. Okay, setting up some creepy vibes with this music and the scenery. You know, some people love to be home alone. I don't. I watch far too many scary movies and play too many creepy games to um, to comfortably be at home by myself, especially at night. Daytime, I guess I'm okay. Nighttime? Nah, 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 nah. I have every light on in the house. I would have thought she'd be used to it by now, but lately, she has been afraid of being by herself, even in her own home. Oh, same. <laughs> that is why we decided I should come over to keep her company. Why is she afraid at night though? Is her house haunted? It'll be like a slumber party. One we used to have as kids. Oh, that's fun. Even though we've long outgrown sleepovers, not sure you never outgrow sleepovers, secretly a part of me is looking forward to it. Well, you should, you're spending time with your friend. That sounds like a, that sounds wonderful. It'll be nice to go back to those times when things were much simpler. Any excuse to do silly things like stay up crazy late, watch a scary movie, and stuff our face full of sugary snacks. Sounds like the perfect night to me. Unless our house is haunted. My chair made the creepiest noise. This could be a chance for us both to relax. God knows I need something to distract myself at this time of the year. Why is that, girl? Why is that? What's what's wrong with this time of the year? Is it, it, is it your birthday? Is it someone else's birthday? Is it winter? It doesn't look like it's winter. Before I realized it, I was already at her door. That doesn't look like an apartment. I thought you said an apartment. That's That looks like a standalone house. Get your story straight, girl. This neighborhood is so quiet, you'd think nobody lives here. Okay, setting up a little creepiness. I ponder how best to make my presence known. Not, ooh, I got choices! Oh, I love me an interactive, story-driven game. These are my freaking favorite. And you're just like, well, okay, you picked out this game, shouldn't you know it was interactive? You know, I should have, then I don't. <laughs> knock on the door, yell for her. Well, if it's nighttime, don't yell for her. Knock on the door. A storm's coming though, so we better hurry. I step up to the door and knock twice. Knock, knock. Coming, coming. Oh, wow. I did not expect her to actually be there. I thought we were gonna walk in on like a deadly scene of just like murder. Rachel, you made it. I'm so glad you came. Did you wait long? Of course, you're fashionably late as usual. Apologize or joke about it. Eh, we're best friends, just joke about it. You know I'm worth the wait. As the one who's always doing the waiting, I'd have to disagree. Okay, girl, we need to work on that. That's pretty freaking rude to be late all the time. Right now, you're the one keeping me waiting. It's freezing out here. Are you gonna let me in or not? If you're cold, it serves you right. Consider it payback for your tardiness. I knew you were evil. Uh-oh. How evil are we talking? Man, it's been so long since I last visited. I almost feel nostalgic. Girl, you live right down the road and you don't visit your, your, your good friend? Shame on you. You should drop by more often then. My parents have been working late more and more these days, so you can definitely stay over more. Aww. What is with that music? It's almost like a setup to some corny romantic movie. Your parents are always away, you're all alone, you have the perfect excuse to invite this cute girl over. Q 
cute girl? Where? I don't see any. Okay, this is this is a best friendship. Okay, this is this is them rekindling their best friendship, and I'm happy to be here for it. But why the creepy music? Hey, don't hate, appreciate. You know I'm a real catch. Is that so? Then how come you haven't gotten yourself a boyfriend yet? Ooh, that's a low blow. Seriously though, thank you for coming over. I feel more at ease having you around. She obviously can't hear this music. I've been feeling out of sorts these last few days. It's no problem, joke about it. Ah, we're kind of jokey, but it's a little serious, so I'm gonna say it's no problem. It's all right, we're friends after all. It's the least I can do. A friend in need is a friend indeed, and all that. Thanks, it's good to know who you can count on when it really matters. Okay, I wanna, I wanna know a little bit more about why you're feeling out of sorts though, girl. Did you murder your parents? Are they not really away for work? So what's been bothering you? Bad dreams and the like? Something like that, I guess. I don't know, it's hard to describe. I've been having this bad feeling every night for about a week. Girl, trust your gut. I'm not saying people can like predict the future, but sometimes, you know, you can be a little intuitive and like, just, just, there's no harm in trusting your gut. You know what I'm saying? You pick up vibes. This isn't gonna end well. Like a premonition? Don't say that. That's only going to freak me out even more. It's more like I've been feeling like something has been watching me. That is so much freakier, girl. What the hell are you talking about? You say something has been watching you, not someone. What do you mean? Like I said, it, it's hard to explain, but I've been feeling this each night when I walk home. It's been like this ever since the fall came. Have you noticed the mist on your way here? Yeah, it was kind of creepy. I can see why you'd hate that, having to walk through that every night by yourself. It's been there for about a week now. It's isolated to just on the street and nowhere else. That is terrifying. Don't you think that's odd? It makes going outside even eerier to be unable to see what's lurking around me. Is that why you feel eyes watching you? Because you can't see what's out there? Okay, if there's like fog on just your block, you know, uh, poisonous gas comes to mind. Gas leak. Something toxic. Should probably call the news about it. Probably, but the feeling doesn't go away even when I make it home. It follows me inside. Even now, I still feel a bit paranoid. Why don't we just stay the night at my house? What are you saying? Something is watching you through the walls? I don't know. I don't have an answer. It just gives me the creeps. I knew Anita for a long time. We grew up through primary school together and she's been easy to startle. This time is different. She seems genuinely afraid that something bad could happen. It's enough to put me slightly on edge too, but I have to be strong for her sake. Girl, stay at your house. There's more, you know. Oh, of course there is. Huh? Did you know there's been a few reported disappearances from the neighborhood lately? How would you not know that? Seriously? I didn't know that? Girl, watch the news. Yeah, seven people have been declared. Girl, have you been living under a rock? Been declared missing. There's been no trace of them, no clue as to what happened. They just vanished. A handful of strangers with no connection to one another. The police had no leads, so they couldn't rule out that they each ran away on their own. Seven people. Seven. That's too many. You got a bad police force in your town, girl. But for so many of them it, to just disappear in such a short space of time is too coincidental. All this just makes me so uncomfortable. Aren't your parents worried to leave you alone knowing people have been going missing? No one seems to think it's serious. Okay, are we in the Twilight Zone? The problem is that there's just no evidence of anything bad happening to them, but the fact that there's been no trace of them worries me even more. Uh, it should worry freaking everybody. Who runs away without taking any of their belongings? Th th that's not running away. It's so unusual. How come no one, not even their family, do nothing about it and not lose their mind? What if something really was wrong? Could they live with themselves so they never find the missing people again? I remain silent. Feeling somber all of a sudden, my gaze dropped down to the floor. Things have just turned to a touchy subject. I don't get this. I don't get it. People are going missing? Seven people in your neighborhood? That's a, that's a lot of people. One or two. Weird, but like, uh, okay. Seven? How many people live in your neighborhood? An awkward moment lingered between us. The silence was palpable. Oh, Rachel, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to be so insensitive. I was just running my mouth without thinking and forgot. Oh, it must have happened to her then. 
it, it's okay. A, a long time ago. I should have gotten over it by now. Or at least it shouldn't get me bad anymore. Rachel. It's just this time of year. This was around the time she disappeared. Normally I don't think about it anymore. After all this time, I learned to forget she's missing. Not really though. You, you have to let it go a little or it can eat you up. But during this time of year, it all comes rushing back and I remember too much. My sister is gone. I may never see her again. Okay, so this town has a history of people just disappearing. And there's fog. Sounds like the best. <laughs> it suddenly hits me in one go and I get all emotional and I feel guilty about it. Because all I'm thinking about is how I feel. Like how I never got any closure, never got to say goodbye to her. My last memories of her was so mundane. It was just another normal day. If I knew that that was our final meeting together, I would have cherished that moment, cherished the sight of her and let her know how much I miss her. But it's just a selfish wish. That's not selfish at all. That's a completely justifiable feeling. She could be scared or hurt and I'm upset about how I feel. You can't blame yourself, Rachel. Sorry, I came to make you feel better. I didn't mean to get all <laughs> melodramatic on you. That's not melodramatic, it's called being human. We were meant to avoid this topic. It was one of the reasons I was looking forward to the sleepover. Winter nights bring back terrible memories and I needed something to distract me. This slumber party is a much benefit for me as it is for Nita. Two lonely souls united in our distress. I'm sorry as well for opening up old wounds. Some lame friend I've been. Change subject agree with her. No, it's change subject. Even though I want to know more about seven people missing. Listen to us. We've just launched straight into catching up. We haven't even settled down yet. We need to change a pace. When's the house tour going to start? Oh yeah, let's do that. I haven't even offered you anything to drink yet. Do you want something from the kitchen? I thought you'd never ask. Okay, very creepy. I followed Anita into the living room. She was doing a commercial impression of an estate agent showing me around even though I've been here before. Then why'd you want a house tour? So what are you having? I have orange juice, tea, and if you're feeling adventurous, I have vodka. How old are we supposed to be here? Are we a young adult? Are we teenager? I can't tell. Vodka, tea, or orange juice. Hey, it's a sleepover. We're going for the alcohol. <laughs> Let's hit the vodka. I'm feeling it tonight. Ooh, you're a brave one. Oh, so maybe they're underage. Ah, uh, I just committed to crime. Oops. I like your style. Is This is a party, isn't it? What kind of party would this be without some irresponsible boozing? You are joining me, aren't you? It'll be a lame party if only one of us is drunk. My mom always said you were a bad influence. <laughs> Smart lady. With our drinks in hand, I take in the surrounding for the first time. Not a lot has changed in the two years since I've been absent. Everything is just as I remember it to be, except for one addition. Oi! Oh, oi. Oh, that's new. What's new? What is it? Oh! Okay, do I have to censor this? I think I have to censor this out. Yep, I think I have to censor this out. I feel like this is a little... Yeah, I want my channel to be monetized one day. <laughs> I don't know how I've only just noticed it. Right in the middle of the room is a large painting that dominates the wall. This painting? Oh yeah, we got that from an art auction at this weird place. Oh, it's possessed. Dad's been obsessed about it. He couldn't take his eyes off it ever since we got it. I wonder why. What do you think? Are you a fan? I like it, it's horrible. It's like a pre raphaelite Raphael. you can tell I'm into art. <laughs> it's horrible, I like it. I mean, it's not horrible, but it's it's an interesting choice to have in your living room. No? Am I being prudish here? I wanna say it's horrible, I'm sorry. Don't take this the wrong way, Anita, but it's kinda ugly. I mean, it's technically well painted and beautifully done, but why would you hang it on your wall? It's a little, it's a little, it's a, it's a, it, you know, maybe, maybe it belongs in the bedroom. It just doesn't strike me as the kind of thing you'd want to be the centerpiece of your living room. I know, right? I'm right there with you. I think it's horrible. From the moment I first saw it, I wasn't settled by it. I have no idea what my dad saw in the painting. Really, girl? Really? Oh, this is censored. You guys can't see it. <laughs> he was just so enamored by it that he bought the thing on the spot. Okay, it's possessed. This is this painting. This painting's the key to everything. Do your family go to art auctions regularly? Not really, but both my parents love art and we came across this interesting place that was selling paintings one night, so we only went in out of curiosity. To tell you the truth though, it was a strange experience. 
Okay, I think we found the, the, the reason for people going missing. The auction house was massive, far bigger than what I was expecting looking from the outside. The lighting was dim and there was a light haze surrounding the place, like fog. All the guests must have been smokers or something, cause why would you smoke around paintings? You don't do that. Cause there was a thin haze in the room. There was a lot of paintings hang on the wall as you'd expect. My parents were in their element and we split off to look around at our own leisure. Nothing particularly grabbed me until I saw this one painting. Is it gonna be a naked guy? What's it gonna be? Oh, this one? Let me guess, it's the one we're looking at right now? That's right, Sherlock. One week ago, I was standing face to face with this beautiful lady in the painting. One week ago, one week ago of unsettledness. Girl. Although I thought it was captivating, there was something about it that didn't sit right with me. You and your bad feelings. Do you ever not have them? Girl. Two and two, put two and two together. Come on. Hey, I'm serious. The painting puzzled me. It stirred up something in me and not necessarily in a good way. I stood there for a long time just staring at the painting, trying to work out what was triggering my senses. That's when this weirdo crept up to me. That sounds about right. Weirdo creeping up to you looking at a naked painting. I see it. Oh, what's up, bud? What's up, dude? Looks like you haven't slept much. I see this painting has captured your attention, young miss. Yeah, I guess it has. What's the background of this piece? Do you know who the artist is? I don't see a plaque for it anywhere. The origins of this piece is not known, I'm afraid. Such a beautiful painting shrouded in mystery, like the Voynich manuscript. It adds to the eerie sensation one feels in its presence. You can find yourself easily lost within its canvas. The serene landscape it depicts, the detailed faces hidden in the background, and the angelic figure at the center of it all. Wouldn't you agree? I guess. I'm eager to know what the scene is about. We can only speculate, but this is part of its charm. The identity of the maiden, how she has found herself in such a bizarre land. Tell me, what do you think her expression is showing? How do you interpret her manner? She looks afraid, she looks deviant, she looks seductive. Um, she kind of looks deviant to me a little bit, you know what I'm saying? Like, she's like, she's seductive, but she's like, hiding a knife behind her back kind of feel, you know? She looks deviant, she holds herself confidently. It's true that the maiden is inspiring strong feelings in the observer. Her posture is powerful and yet so elegant, but even the bravest of soul can carry a slither of fear. You see it, don't you? Despite the confidence you see in the painting, deep inside, something is unsettling lies behind. Beyond, not behind, my bad. I mean, you know, this guy's just doing his job. He's just trying to sell a painting. He's just enthusiastic about art. Here I am, thinking this dude is creepy. But he seems a little creepy. She's like Venus standing in a strange new world and seen by human eyes. This moment is forever captured in still image. A timeless state. Perfection. For the pleasure of all those who look upon her for generations upon generations to come. When you stare into the painting, do you see anything staring back? Oh, that's creepy. What did you say? Anita, there you are. Okay. Wow, this painting, it's, it's gorgeous. What a find. Anita, don't you think this is an extraordinary painting? In some way it is. Why is he getting a creepy look on his face? How precious. What is the name of this artwork? It did not come with a name when it came to our possession. However, we have given it one we thought is quite apt. Grotesque beauty. Lovely. Lovely. Charming. It perfectly embodies this sinister tone that's mixed with the odd, soothing nature of the piece. A scene that conjures so much conflicting emotion surely cannot be named anything else. Grotesque beauty. Yes, it does suit the painting. I can't seem to take my eyes off of it. The woman in the painting, she's just so perfect. Oh, is that why they haven't slept? Is that why their eyes look like that? She almost feels real. The artist must be a genius to have created something so lifelike. Jeez, look at me. I'm all shaken up. How much is this piece? You haven't sold it already, have you? Grotesque beauty has not been sold yet, sir. You have the first refusal right now. If you are to be its new owner, you can take her home with you tonight. Well, luck! So early into the auction, I find a masterpiece straight away. How much is it? I'll buy it off you right now. Name your price, I'll give you anything. Okay, that's a little... Dude, calm down a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Like, porn exists. Okay, you can find it for free on the internet. Good sir, I see in your eyes the desire of a true lover of art. I believe you are the perfect one to take away this treasure. For the, that reason, it is yours for free of charge. That's never good, bud. Free drink, sure. 
free pretzels sometimes. Okay, don't know why I said pretzel. I don't really like pretzels, but you know what I mean. Like little things like that. Uh, painting at an auction? No, 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 no. That's some cursed shit right there. My God, are you for real? I can't believe this. This is too good to be true. If you ever say that to yourself, it is. It's too good to be true. It always is. Ha ha ha, I never th- Wow, laugh, wow, way to go. I never thought my night could turn out like this. Dad, are you sure about this? Where did we put this? Don't you think it'll look out of place in our home? Anita, dear, a gem like this doesn't come by so often. It is too good to pass up. Besides, any man would be happy to find a home for this work of art. We have to have it. Before you commit, though, I must offer you one final chance to turn away. You can leave this painting and go back to your normal life, or you can choose to willingly take the painting with you, give it a new home, and let it grow as part of your life. So what would it be? I'll take it, because I'm an inconsiderate and don't, you know, don't look at cues, and have never watched a horror movie, and don't care about my wife or child. Congratulations, sir. You are the new owner of Grotesque Beauty. Your life will never be the same again. Cool. So, lesson to be learned. If uh, someone offers you a free painting, don't take it. What a freaky story. That guy from the auction house sounds like such a weirdo. He totally was. The way he was acting didn't seem normal. He really was a creep. I don't ever want to see that ugly mug again. Well, that's a little mean. Er, uh, what did you say this? When did you say this happened? About a week ago. Why do you ask? Oh my god, you're so stupid. You're so stupid. I was just thinking that the timing of all this is pretty odd. What do you mean? Well, all this bad feeling you've been experiencing lately, you said that started a week ago, around the same time this painting came to your home. Don't you think that's quite a coincidence? It could be. I don't see how those two relate to one another. You stupid girl. You're so stupid. And the fog that's been appearing, it coincides with these events. This might just be me, but does that look like wisp of smoke in the painting? They could even be a form of fog, much like the one that's recently hit the streets. What if the painting brought the fog to this neighborhood? And that stranger from the auction house was something straight out of a horror story? I don't know. Maybe there is something weird about this. Now? Now you're beginning to sound crazy. Or are you just trying to scare me? I'm just saying, this thing does give me the creeps too. I see why you've been scared these last few days. I reckon you'd feel better if we took it off the wall and put it away. No way. Dad loves this painting. He'd kill me if he finds out we've been handling it badly. At that moment, there was a knock on the door. Oh, that scared me. Who, who's that? Were you expecting someone? No, I only invited you here. Don't answer it. Should we see who it is? I mean, yeah, see who it is, but don't answer it. Peek out the window, you know what I'm saying? I bet no one's there. I bet no one's there. Oh, don't say hello. Look out the window. H hello? Who is it? Of course we're not going to respond back. Hello? Is someone there? No one is answering. Now what? Should we open the door and see if anyone is nearby? No. I don't know. I really don't want to. Me neither. But then again, I'm not sure if I'll be able to sleep not knowing what's out there. I think I can hear someone there still. Why won't he answer? Hey! What do you want? Still nothing. We could latch the door chain and take a look. What do you think? Mm-mm. Nope. I don't know. I'm conflicted. What do you think we should do? Answer the door. Don't open the door. Let's play it safe. We should leave the door closed. No way I'm going to answer the door to a spooky stranger in the middle of the night. Thank God. For a moment I thought you might answer it. But I do wonder who it could have been and why they showed up at my door. The, mis the mysteries just keep piling up. Did you hear that? Oh my god, something just called your name. How does it know that I'm here? Who knows about me coming over? That's impossible. I only told my parents. No one else should know. Hey, who are you? What do you want? This is messed up. Definitely don't open the door. Yeah, I'm 100% with you on that. Do you think whoever it is is still there? I don't know. I think we should try to ignore him. He'll go away soon. Why not just call your parents? Why not call the police if you're that scared? Why not call her parents? You know what I mean? <sighs> okay, terrifying. We tried to brush off the incident at the door and stayed up a little longer, idly chatting before the night grew darker and sleep was washed over us. 
This slumber party was still pleasant despite her paranoia. Anita was probably feeling overcautious and afraid having heard one too many morbid stories. What are you talking about? You literally heard someone at the door. I was glad to be there with her to keep my wandering mind from thinking back to my sister's disappearance. Soon after all this anxiety will pass by. It's good that we can help each other through it. That is good, but you're kind of glossing over the fact that some creepy is happening in your town. Tonight was a bit weird. It was about to get weirder still. Oh? Oh, darn! You've reached the end of the demo. Damn, that was so freaking good! Ah. Oh. Damn, I love me a good demo. I'm I'm genuinely excited to find out where the heck the story's going because Rachel, you yeah, onto something. Anita, you a bit dumb, okay? Your dad's possessed by this painting. This painting's sucking people's lives away. Don't really know how yet, you know? I got my theory is maybe like the the fog outside just like captures people wandering through. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. If you liked this game, if you liked this video, you want to see me play more like this, because I love me a good visual novel, please give this video a big thumbs up so that I know you want to see more. Until next time, keep up the radness, and I'll see you guys real soon. Bye.